Hi, my name is Katie and I'm one of the attorneys at the Liger Law Firm. If you're considering filing for bankruptcy and you meet with an attorney, one of the concepts you're likely going to hear is this idea of median income. Individuals at or below median income for their family size can file a Chapter 7. If you're over median income, you have to file a Chapter 13. Now, if you are married, both the income of yourself and your spouse has to be included, even if you are filing by yourself, not with your spouse. This is because the income of your spouse contributes to the household income. Now, while you do account for his, his or her income, you will also account for his or her debts and spending. Now, if you are separated from your spouse, we would not need to list them. Now, in the event that you are filing by yourself, but we do need to list your spouse's income, rest assured that your spouse won't be listed by name or social security number or anything like that. So median income is basically just the average family income, and of course your family size is considered. So for example, for a one-person household, median income is $39,563. For a two-person household, median income is $51,562. For three, it's $58,473, and so on and so forth. So who can you count? You can count yourself, you can count your spouse if you're married, and any minor children that are yours that live with you. If you have a child that's over 18, particularly if they're disabled in college or they're otherwise financially dependent, we can count them too. As a general rule, if you can claim someone on their taxes, you can count them as long as they do live with you. So, so different custody arrangements where one person claims you do actually have to live with that child. Now, if it does appear that your median is over, your income is over median, you should still meet with an attorney because your expenses may pull you under. If you do have questions or would like to speak with an attorney, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.